All right, all right. Welcome back to Let's Stay Together Talk. I'm your host, Reverend Rick McCain, along with my baby, my girl, my boo, author Brenda McCain, along here with the one-time fired, maybe still here next week, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> she going to be here as long we as might, I'm here. I might have to see about letting her come back. But let's go with our uh, subject of the uh, now and making marriage work, baby. Do you think? Making marriage work. Our topic is the unknown, a successful black marriage. Pay attention to that title, The Unknown, A Successful Black Marriage. Our guest tonight is none other than this dynamic duo that we're going to break in because they knew me on the McCain train, Mr. and Mrs. David and Denise Little. Welcome to the McCain train. Thank you. Speaking to that mic, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, David. Hello. How are you? (laughs) So, you know, uh, I'm going to start with David first. David, uh... It, it's, it seems strange to me because I've been married for 22 years. You know, my mother and father were married for a long time. I've seen African-American black marriages, you know, have longevity. But it seems like there's some kind of a, 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 a myth, a mist, a myth. myth I, I can't have a hard myth. time with that word, myth. Yeah. There, there's a confusion since I can't say <laughs> myth. There's a confusion about that there's not really a lot of successful African-American marriages Kind of talk about why do you think that that's happening in the world today where they people are not seeing the success of African Americans being married? Well, I believe that it is a myth, first of all. Yes. Um, I think part of the reason being is that um, media actually plays on the, um, the bad part of everything. Yes. And um, I think that marriages should be more um, shown in a positive light. Um, it doesn't just have to be like, made up stuff that's on television or everything but and those know, are not positive the right. ones you see on <laughs> yeah. tv so i'm thinking that um no just being real and being open um and don't hide your relationship okay and i, I can i can agree to that though yeah, you know don't hide the relationship and, and i like that don't hide the relationship you know uh did these is do we seem to get into a situation where uh we we seem to be afraid to let people know. It's almost like when you know, when somebody say you've been married that long, yeah. you know, people are like you know, I don't really want to tell. But are we are we at a point now where uh, marriage is so uh, declassé that we don't want to share about how successful a marriage can be in the African American community? I don't think it's a point where we don't want to share, and uh, that it's not um, that anyone's embarrassed of it. It's just the fact that it's not highlighted. That um, um, the statistic is saying how that black marriages are failing, mm-hmm. and so that's all that people see. They don't see all those uh, successful black marriages out there, kind of like what we all have here. Yes. So, if people don't talk about it, they don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, people don't know. Yeah, and you know the thing about you. You both you're right because there's so much negativity. But you know, in society today, everything is negative. It. it it has to be negative to get people to watch television almost. Everything is a problem, a problem, a problem. Drama. If you put on a successful marriage, no one's going to watch it. You know, ah. back in the days when, you know, when the Dick Van Dyke was on and Laura and Dick was on, you know, <laughs> bro, bro. You, yeah. you had those kind of marriages that people like, but for some reason things have changed we when you don't see it. We had the Cosby's, though. Yeah, you I had the mean, Cosby's for, you know, a, for a while. You know, but we, we get this point where now the people don't see, you know, black marriages as being successful, and it's kind of disturbing, you know, David, that we have this point where people are not seeing that. You all have been married for how long? I'm going to be 22 years, um, July 16th. 22 years that they've been married, just like us, 22 years. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there's been a lot of ups and downs in that relationship, but Mm -hmm. the success (laughs) comes from... The success comes from uh, the, the issues. And I like you said that. We've had a lot of them, too. We shed it all the time on the radio about mm-hmm. all the problems. I mean, I laugh. But we laugh sometimes and tell people that when I, you know, the first two years, I was looking in the yellow pages to find the first divorce lawyer I yes. could find. I was, I was ready to get away everybody. from it. You know, How they, can I get rid they, of him? They, they knew me. Uh, Reverend, don't be calling anymore. Right. We know you're not going to leave. So, you know. But, you know, you had those problems, but the success, mm-hmm. we never talk about the success in the marriage. And I would say, for one, my success came from dealing with my problems. Absolutely. You know, and so why do we always seem to think that in any marriage, David, that a problem can't be a successful story? Hmm. Well, I think that um, 
we should communication yeah. is a big part in it um, to actually address problems as they come. Um, don't shy away from um, talk about it. Is some things that we actually do. We actually address it. Um, I won't. I don't want to say just sweep it under the rug per se, but um, as it come, address it. Yeah, and you, you got you got to. We we're just talking about it. You can't if you allow it to sweep it under the rug. You know, dirt does have a way of of, of accumulating Ooh. and coming out. And then all of a sudden now, you'd be like Brenda, and she reminded me something I did 13 years ago. And I'm like, what you talking about? Hey, I have to let you know. I, I thought it was a, 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 you know, a way of just kind of psyching me out because I'm like, I don't know oh. anything that happened two years ago, okay. two days ago. Would she do that? You know. But you've got to be able to let things go out. Baby, you got something you want to add. Do people see the Littles as a role model and for marriages? Um, the thing is, is that I don't see us as being a role model. We're just who we are. And, but we've got lots of comments from people about how they respect us, that they look at us as role models, that they think that we're the ideal couple. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we're not out there to try to be that ideal couple. Uh, we're just being who we are. That ideal couple. Right. And, and, and you've been now tagged mm-hmm. as the ideal couple, a role model. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I promise you, it, it is um, strictly just the relationship that we have. Um, there's no facades or anything. Uh, no facades. We don't um, pretend. Uh, what you see is what you get. Yeah, it's that's how we are. What yeah. you Keep see, the good, the, the bad, right. the exactly. ugly, whatever it is. Tracy has experienced that since uh, what the last going on almost three years. She has seen everything. <laughs> it's like, and it is what it is. But uh, you know, a lot of things that used to get me with couples is, oh my God, they argue. And first thing they take you from arguing to being divorced. Yeah. And it's We've like, had that too. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't have a too. discussion with your husband mm-hmm. or your That's wife without yeah. being divorced, going yeah. down that road. Mm-hmm. And then when they see us, you know, especially with my family, if they see us bickering on something, it's like, oh, Oh my God! It's always used to be my fault. What it you do to is. the reverend? It always it is. is not. There you go. It is not. Yes, but it, it is. always used to be. What she do to the reverend? Yes, Lord. What did what the you reverend do, do to me? What did you do to the reverend? I like that. That's, 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 that's how you get makeup <laughs> sex, right? Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. You can say that. Hey, I, well, you can do a lot of things wrong to the reverend then, I guess. You got to say <laughs> something, David. I, I was just going to interject real quickly that um, this actually happened a couple of years ago. When we were actually approached and we were asked, if, well, I was approached, and I think Denise was approached a little bit later on about us getting a divorce, and that was new to us. David and had took didn't hear anything about it. Uh, David had took off um, um, from church for um, about a month or so because he was, uh, had something else he had to do. Mm-hmm. And so because he was gone and everything, all of a sudden we had these people approaching like, yeah. oh, I heard you guys are getting a divorce. And who told you? See, the <laughs> Betty Shabazz about to come out. Yeah, I'm sure. sorry. Uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. And so, I mean, it, it's like, you know, that um, um, I think in black marriages, if um, marriages don't work, the first thing people start thinking about is divorce. Mm-hmm. But they don't understand the point that, um, there's troubles and uh, trials and tribulations in all marriages. Mm-hmm. Yes. Of, and, all and, and, and of all races. Of all races. And the fact that you got to learn how to get past those. Mm-hmm. And so what, we, what we've come, uh, in, um, that first two years, was, it was rough, man. It was like mm-hmm. I was packing up every day probably. Yeah. <laughs> Me and you was packing together. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh. And he was just sitting there looking like, uh, when are you going to put your stuff back up? <laughs> 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 and so, but, but the thing is, is that with I mean, uh, even, I mean, it's like even over time, that you're going to have all kind of trials and tribulations, and it's all in how you handle it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That um, we, um, had, from, from day one, we decided that divorce wasn't an uh, option. Right. And that um, because divorce is not an option, that we're just going to sit here and look at each other all crazy and stuff until mm-hmm. uh, one of us make up. Yeah. With that makeup sex. Right. Yeah, makeup <laughs> sex. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I'm going right, to tell you okay. something. I, I, we were talking earlier about I don't know why uh, married people get afraid to talk about sex. Yeah. You're supposed to talk about sex. You're married. It's mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. Talk about it. Enjoy it. Let somebody know that in your marriage, it's fun mm-hmm. to talk about sex. It's fun to have sex. Yeah. You know? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, going back to, you know, to, you know a successful black marriage, it always seems like, you know, as we were talking earlier, David, you don't, you don't really see the example. And then when someone sees the example, they're starting to scrutinize it to think, oh, he's not around. It, it, you, know, you know, what's going on? Why do we always try to, you know, you know, break down or break apart a marriage before we realize that we need to do something to, to heal it or bring it back together? 
talking to me. <laughs> I mean, either one of you. Oh, okay. So, um, unfortunately, that, that does happen a lot. But um, I just play the opposite. I automatically just um, show the opposite role of that. Um, based on the things that I do, um, like case in point, um, when we go shopping, um, sometimes she might send me out for feminine Product. Feminine See, feminine products I, or something I've like that. that before. Thank you. I don't man. have a problem with it at all. It's I not for me. You, David. I, I love, love you, David. Man, yeah. so that's I, a man. There you right. go. I, I go and get whatever right. I need, and vice versa. I, uh, she, as you can see, she don't use shaving cream and braces <laughs> and all. So we just do that for each other, and, right. and, and don't have a problem with it. Mm-hmm. Same thing with um, again shopping because that's what she loves to do. With I'm um, holding the purse. I don't have a problem with that. It's David not my be, purse. David's gonna be back on this. Y'all gonna be back on this show. That's my guy. I'm telling you. I'm like, wait a minute. I know. I'm a man, mm-hmm. right? Exactly. Yeah, come on exactly. now. So it's just little things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it was so funny you said it because when we first, you know, was with each other, and say, you buying feminine problems? I like it's not for me, right? Exactly. I mean, it's not like I'm finna use it. It's for my wife. You, right. you, you would. I mean, I would go to the store, and the woman be like. You know this is a feminine product. Right, like he don't know. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. I have a wife. You know, she was so shocked. And, and in our relationships, people are so shocked. Because me and Brenda, we, you know, 22 years, we still hold hands. I still yes. open the door for exactly. her in the car. When she walks into, when we open the house, she, I let her, I look into the house first. I let her walk into the house first. I do all those things. And people are looking at that, and they don't think that that's part of a marriage anymore. Mm-hmm. And they don't think that marriage does that anymore. And then you, mm-hmm. you look at the black marriage, which society has uh, placed at a lower level. Yeah. Right. Because they don't see the success rates of a black marriage. Exactly. When you see something like that, it's it's not normal to people. Right. And so we've got to bring that back to normalcy where, I mean, we were at the church one time and we saw a couple who didn't open the door for each other. And then all of a sudden they were starting to open the door for each other because it was an example. So as, as African-American marriages or uh, married couples, what do we need to do to remove that myth about there being not enough successful marriages? Well, the one thing is that, first of all, is that um, it needs to be publicized, you know, for lack of a, a better word, you know, that the fact that um, we need to let people see that there, there are these successful, successful marriages yes. mm-hmm. and that, um, that marriages work. People think that just because um, you're having problems in your life that you just give up on your marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, but you have to go through all these steps. Um, you, you got to work on your marriage first of all. Yes. Uh, and then you got to keep those outside forces out of your marriage. Oh, yeah. oh You know yeah. how um, I hate to say, but us women sometimes we go out there. Say it, and girl. Say it, girl. Speak <laughs> loudly <laughs> into right. the mic. Speak the truth. Right. Shame the devil. <laughs> we go out there, and, and uh, because our husband is not talking to us, we uh, it's like we got to have somebody to talk to. So we go out there and we start talking and 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 saying oh boohoo and crying. And so those people who we're talking to are most likely single women who don't have a man. And then all of a sudden, because they start telling y'all, man, go leave him, y'all go, uh, y'all, he's no good, leave him, you know, and things like that. And they be ready to and, and get that's, him. And that's what Tracy be telling Brenda all the time. No. Uh, <laughs> you know, and I, I'm, I'm like, she, you know, she be just trying to mess up our relationship all the time with her Ooh, no good Sometimes self. she can be saving your relationship. Yeah. She's just jealous, mm-hmm. that's all. So go ahead, David. And if I, and if I can add also, um, I want to say um, being genuine. Yes. Being genuine. Um, chivalry is not dead. Yes, yes, and, um, yes, it's not dead. My wife is to the point now that wherever we go, she's going to step aside and know that I'm going to open up the door. Okay, yeah. hold on. Give so me a high five. Oh, no, give, <laughs> That's no it. she didn't just high five in front of my face. Okay. <laughs> and I've had people before to say to me, uh, like, um, you know, family members and things, like, um, uh, can you teach my husband how to do that? Uh, how do you teach your husband to do that? It's just, you know, it's just second nature It was with us. in my husband Absolutely. already, the yeah. godliness in my husband. That's it. That's Denise it. is me and David is you. Yeah. And just recently someone in my family said, why are you standing there? Open the door. That's it. My husband right here. He can be a block down the street. And, and I'm, he's going to open that door. door. No, I'm going to walk to that door and wait till he come that block down. Mm-hmm. And I'm and, and, there there you go. <laughs> but Rick is so good with it, though. And look, we pubbing our men yeah, today. That's Y'all all right. You're black man. There you go. I can't say. Say this, even with Tracy, when we're doing stuff together, he opens the door for Tracy. And I love that in him. A lot of people used yeah. to always question, because we're real close here, I always question, you cool with another woman? This is sister. Right. It might be a plain sister, but I mean, I trust yeah, her and I than, love her. And I've been stuff. knowing her since four. But she, it's she, his sister. She way past play sister. But, <laughs> you, but you know what, ladies, too? Another thing that we have to do is we have to expect and allow men to do yes. that for us, because a lot of times, 
women don't know to allow a man to hold the door mm-hmm. or, or, or to get you help you with your coat on and stuff. Mm-hmm. So we have to learn to allow men to be men, and mm-hmm. men need to uh, let women be women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and a man, let me tell you this to the man, if you ain't opening up the door for your woman, then something's wrong. Yeah. Because that mm. you're you're teaching the next generation of what needs yes. to be done. Yes. I saw it in a movie one time where the guy was the girl was waiting for him to open the door and he'd act like he faked to drive the car off. No, no, no. You're supposed to be showing everyone that mm. that is your prince. That is that is she she's your princess. She is special to you. Mm-hmm. And when people see that, then then other women are gonna women make that man do that. Exactly. If, if, if that man that you like don't want to open that door for you, there's another man that likes you that will. Exactly. Oh my exactly. So don't. I, I remember the day and we get a little bit off the subject where a man, a, a woman made determined the man she was gonna be with by based on how he act. Not how he looked or he had muscles. That he how, he so muscular, mama, how he treated his, his mama. Sister. The woman mm-hmm. was the one in control of who was going to talk to me and how he was going to act. Mm-hmm. Now, all of a sudden, now we're accepting anything. Mm-hmm. And then it's, it's demasculating every part of the relationship to the point now you don't see a successful relationship in an African-American uh, family or anything because mm-hmm. – Women are allowing themselves to accept less. But True. you know, but that's also what you're saying there. That's the thing of how we are raised as African Americans. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. Um, um, you know, uh, it's like you know, whatever the kids see as a young child is what they accept later on in life. Yeah. That's exactly. And if they see their mother stepping back and waiting for them to support a man to open the door for them, that's what a young girl would expect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and so we need to get back to those basics of teaching our kids yep. how. To act, uh, you know how to uh, res- how young men how to res- re- how to respect women, yeah, and women, you know how to receive that respect. Yes. and you know going yeah. off of that, let's go back to when you're courting someone. I was always taught, and it's biblically. I like that courting. I, I courting. know she's so old, I'm so old fashioned, <laughs> and it's a good thing that's that. Um, thing. Do you feel that marriages in the within the marriage you should be equally yoked? Yes. Yes, uh, I do. I do think so. Yes, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you're equally young. Okay. <laughs> because, because, uh, because um, equally, uh, equally yoked. Um, because the thing is, if you're not, um, you know, you're running in two different directions. Yeah. And so, whether you're equally yoked uh, in the bar or in the church, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's that right. you have That's to be good. equally yoked. You That's know? honesty. Yeah. In the bar or in the church. Right, right. That's honesty, I, though. I can drink the gin just like you. <laughs> We're <laughs> like equally you. yoked. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's cute. But you know one of the things I'll say real quick, you know, when we say equally yoked, it doesn't mean that the person is at the same spiritual level. Right. It just means that you're both except Jesus Christ as your personal savior. And you're moving in that level, mm-hmm. you know, so we don't, you know, some people, well, he ain't, he ain't as, as, as saved as I am. What do you mean? He's saved, mm-hmm. you know? And so we, we've got to be careful sometimes with that because sometimes people think, well, he ain't, he ain't equally yoked at him. I'm more spiritual. Than him. I don't want to talk to him. Well, lift him up. Well, let's as talk long as he term, knows Jesus, go let's ahead. Let's talk in terms of different faith base. Oh, like, well. I'm Catholic, you're Baptist. Right, yeah, that's you, more you, so you what I'm thinking of. That's more there, so boy. what I'm thinking Ooh. of. Okay, well, yeah. I, I was, yeah. My marriage was like that. I, w- I was Lutheran, and my um, ex-husband was Catholic. And that's not why he's my ex-husband. But <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I, I do respect the fact that um, because I was more of the church goer, he did um, come to my church, and he did not change over, but he reaffirmed his faith in God, and he attended Lutheran Church with me and the children. I, I, I met my play uncle, Mr. Eccles, at your church, and uh, yeah. he told me they're on unequ- they're on equally yoked, but they're yoked. He's a different, you know, serve on a different religion, and mm-hmm. he always come over to you guys' church. So, right. I mean, if you guys can make it work, so be it, but I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, if I can actually inject, um, just to take it away from the church setting, I was looking at it, and we actually talked about this in years past, about um, where as where you meet your mate at. Yeah. So I was never a person that actually like went out. So I would never wanted to meet a woman <laughs> exactly. at a club and all that kind of stuff because I know I that like I don't really, um, <laughs> since I didn't go out, I didn't want to meet a woman out mm-hmm. that who might uh, think that she might be my wife one day because that's not me. Yeah. Right. So I, I, agree. I, I know that how you meet a person, well, for me, that is, yeah. um, I wanted to meet someone that who I really want to spend time with. Yeah. So I, if mm-hmm. the club is not my setting, 
All right, so okay. I guess I can't meet anybody. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, right? right. <laughs> right. That, that, there you go. I mean, that's all I do is lay in the bed and watch TV. No. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, unless, unless you're gonna find a, a, a husband on TV. Oh, ah. <laughs> what are some specific tips that you could give to couples out there to help them make their marriage successful? Um, the I think the main thing uh, is communication. That's uh, that's the, that's the top thing. Um, because, I mean, you can just go flying by uh, with no issues whatsoever, but that one piece for communication, if you don't talk, uh, if you don't share, uh, and, and women love to talk and love to share. Yes. Mm-hmm. David, <laughs> <laughs> David, he would sit there, and, and, and I, mean, I would talk until the cows come home, and he'd just sit there and look. Mm-hmm. Now, are you listening to me? You know, he's no. like, yes, yes, just yes. nod a few times. Yes. Right, right. Lord. <laughs> Say, uh-huh. No nod. Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord. Uh, <laughs> like your Fitbit said, you haven't moved enough. Just say, uh-huh. Okay. He doesn't, he doesn't even blink most of the time. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's your baby brother, really. I'm telling you. <laughs> One thing that I can say would be um, consistency. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, whatever it is that I did to, um, to get her, yes. um, I know that I have to maintain that. Amen. Right. Okay, that doesn't cook. fall by the wayside. No. <laughs> you know, my cooking, that's my thing. It. I think that's what she enjoyed most. You know, and one of the things I would say, you know, uh, as, as, we, as we close out, uh, is that uh, with African-American marriages, we're not just uh, singling out because – uh, it's more of an issue than anyone else. Everyone has a, a problem in marriages. And e- each culture, each you know, uh, nationality, race has an issue with marriage. But uh, unfortunately, you don't hear about the positive, successful African-American black marriage as much as you do any other race. You know, we don't, you know, we used to have BT. We don't have that anymore. You know, uh, you know we don't have that image that stands out anymore that can show a positive image. If you're still bringing up the Cosby's, you're only almost 30 years away. So we need those role models out there again. And so the reason why we're talking about successful African-American marriages is because we want people to know of African-American descent that there are great successful marriages, 22 years there, 22 years for us, and that you can be the example. Uh, they didn't want to be the example, but because they lived their life the right way, they, they became, became examples example. of a successful African-American uh, couple, and so we thank you all for that. And, but, and, and I'm sorry, uh, Rick. I just wanted to interrupt. Um, Kim Randall says hi, y'all. <laughs> hey, hey, Kim. Miss <laughs> Miss uh-huh. Kim Randall. That's yeah, uh, what so, you call us. Well, yeah, oh, Kim. Because, um, hey, yeah. Kim. Yeah, because she thinks you're a keeper. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just wanted to acknowledge Kim. Thank D you, Kim. Curtis Randall. Hi, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, D Curtis Randall. That's I think that's Kim. Oh, that's that. Yeah. Hey, Kim. Oh, oh you <laughs> ran in. Yeah. Y'all slow. <laughs> go ahead. What you, what you got to do over there, baby? Baby, do you want to get them with this? Yeah, let's go to the McCain. We're going to take you out of McCain Express before we go. Right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, now, the McCain Express. Woo! <laughs> it's going to go real fast. We just gonna, you, you're going to answer the question that I give you, okay? okay? Real fast. Both of you got to answer yeah. it, too. Right. Now. Okay. Start with Mr. Forth. Nice first. Zip lining or mountain climbing? Zip lining. Zip lining. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you an yoked. introvert or an extrovert? Extrovert. Introvert. 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 Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I could answer introvert. that. <laughs> right, I can see that one. If you could live on the East Coast or the West Coast, which one would you choose? West Coast. West. No, they're in agreement with each other. Seafood or Chinese food? Chinese. <laughs> I love seafood. I hate seafood too. <laughs> yeah, you are too much alike, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary because they don't like all the way yeah, across yeah. here. <laughs> it's date night. Dinner in a movie or dinner in some jazz music? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> they thinking you know about what? this one. I'm going to say the, um, the movie. Um, the movie. Yeah, the movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This may be but, neither but for you all. But we can actually skip that movie. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> have a, have a sex. Huh? Y'all's married. So uh, this is, <laughs> next question is uh, wine tasting or beer? Wine, wine tasting. tasting. Okay. <laughs> Plays or movie? Plays. Plays. You're excited. You're most excited about a million dollars or a million dollar home? Million dollars. I like a million I love dollars. My house yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> would you rather ride? Let me say. Would you rather ride cross country in a car or see this countryside in a train ride? A train ride. Train ride. Okay. 
Because I do all the driving. Anyway. <laughs> there, train, you go. Train, train, right. there you go. Train ride. Right. Right. I just sit back. <laughs> if, if you had your choice, if you had your choice of meat, one meat to eat for the rest of your life, would it be steak or chicken? Oh. Yeah, I don't eat okay, steak or chicken. I do, I do, but uh, you had to I pick one or the other: steak or chicken. Steak. Steak. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Which TV shows you like best, drama or comedy? Comedy. Drama. Most yeah. women. <laughs> <laughs> Giving back That's to the they community. Bring See, exactly. <laughs> 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 Giving back to the community or taking back the streets. Giving back to Giving the back to the community. Yes. Your world famous celebrity? Are you a musician or actor or actress? Hmm. Uh, if we were one, I'm sorry. Why well, aren't, no. aren't you going to be a musician? Oh, a musician. Oh, I, I, I think I missed the question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're saying all the time. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, I play the bass guitar. Right. <laughs> wow. Can you get to be a superhero for David, Superman, or Batman? Um, Batman. Denise, Catwoman or Supergirl? Catwoman. Hey. <laughs> 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 Star Wars or Star Trek? Hmm. That's for David. That's for David. Oh, um, I would say Star Trek. Okay, for Denise, what love got to do with it or waiting to excel? What love has to, got to do with it? Mm. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, we, train we thank friends. you, uh, David and Denise. Hope you all had some fun with us here. Yes, We're definitely going to have I, – uh, Denise, I don't mean anything against you, but since me and David are like, you know, brothers from another mother, <laughs> I definitely got to have him back because everything, the same <laughs> thing about him is the same as me. It really right. is. You know, and so we Very definitely have to have you all come back and share again with some of the marriage thank things so on yes, our thank show. You. Yes, thank you. Uh, mm-hmm. And so we appreciate you all being a successful – Black marriage. Well, thank yes. you so much. Yeah. You know. Thanks for having us. Thank you very so much. Hopefully they can stay in. Join yeah, you all if you want to stay, you can stay in, uh, uh, with us on the next half hour if you like to. Sure. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, we got so, some more stuff. We so where are we going, baby? Chime in. We are about to go to, what is this, Salvation Call for you, baby? Yeah, you can be instead all the time. You fired, too. <laughs> you <laughs> We're about to get another Salvation way. Call. <laughs> and so uh, this is Reverend Rick McCain along with my baby, my girl, my boo, Fire Tracy. And D.I. will be right back after these commercial breaks. Tracy, the police are waiting for you outside. Let's let's go out. You you got to go. I'm gone. I'm gone.